Welcome to a new video in my home automation series and about seven months ago I created a review of a couple of link and link products that you can see here. So it was these three. So there was the, um, the eHub, the ET uh, temperature and humidity sensor and the eMotion. So that's the motion sensor. And now they have a new product or well at least new for me. It's this eRemote which is basically an ER blaster with a few additional functionality. And I have done a couple of these ER blasters in the past, uh, but I don't really use them because there is nothing that I want to control with infrared. I don't have AC units, which uh, that would be, you know, a really good candidate to control remotely. Um, but this device would be able to do that. But uh, yeah, I think those are the main uh, things that you want to control. I was also thinking about maybe what I can do is I want to... Um, maybe I can have an automation that turns off the TV but my only problem is that just like with any TVs there is no off signal it's always on off signal so if it happens to be off then I just turn it on so anyway that's one of the well the reasons that I don't do that but um, you know it is a good device and now you can control infrared devices remotely you know you can change volumes you can change channels turn them on and off and it doesn't have to be tvs it can be hi-fi sets uh, or uh, you know split ac units or anything like that and the other thing this guy does is that also has a built-in bluetooth module so it can connect to bluetooth devices we are going to see that so they have a you know a couple of temperature sensors and door sensors that this can directly talk to but you can also purchase this uh, bluetooth remote and then you can pair that to the e uh, sorry the e remote and then you know once you created a device um, <clears throat> like a, you know like a t tv remote then basically you can pair this um, uh, you know bluetooth uh, remote to that infrared remote so this will send signals to the e remote to turn let's say the tv or on chain channels i mean you can see the buttons here and this is going to translate those messages into infrared messages so it can be sent out to your tv so i think that would be a great option for somebody who has like maybe an older tv and the remote is acting up so you want to you know change it or just have a second remote which has less buttons it just has the usual buttons that you would you, you know you are using 90 percent of the time so you are happy to you know go with that bluetooth remote some TVs have option to pair Bluetooth remotes, but some don't. So for those, this would be ideal. And also I'm thinking that maybe you, if you have, in, you have in a commercial situation where you have a TV and then maybe that TV is mounted so the, uh, the infrared remote port is blocked, then you can have this device maybe behind a cabinet or behind the, you know, the fascia. So then you can control it with, let's say, this Bluetooth remote, you know, turn it on and off. So I think that would be a good use case for that as well. In terms of the device, there is not much that I can, you know, show you because uh, there is, you know, nothing really to it. It's just like this, uh, you know, round shape with the, uh, the glossy top. Probably this is some sort of infrared transparent plastic and there are a bunch of uh, infrared diodes and receivers. And then on the bottom, you just have, it says, you know, remote and sorry, e-remote and you have a micro USB connection here. And this micro USB cable neatly, uh, you know, threads through this, uh, um, you know, cut out here on the case. So it can rest on, uh, a desk like that and these you these remotes are usually or these ir blasters are usually quite powerful so you don't have to be you know very precise how you place them as long as they are in the same room as the device they should be okay to you know work with and the bluetooth remote is there are two different models available and i mean it's just a simple remote and i think it probably was designed for ir but then it's probably retrofitted for um uh, bluetooth and you just have two AAA batteries to power it and that's it and you get these buttons that you can see here okay so let me show you the software how it looks like uh, i don't want to go through the link and link app because i have done that review extensively in my previous video so what you do is that you know once you uh, once you get the device and you power it on then you can add this device so uh, you can add the device and then uh, you add a new device. It's the E-Series hub and sensors, and it's the, this one, the Smart IR and BLE hub, E-Remote. 
So you select this and then you will get on screen instructions what you need to do in order to get this uh, synchronized with the app. You have to provide your SSID and the password. So it's the usual stuff. And once you do that, the IR Hub shows up here on the screen. And then uh, you can see that I have configured one infrared device and uh, the BLE remote. So by default, this BLE remote on the top is going to show not connected. And then again, you just follow the on screen instructions to get this uh, remote connected. And, uh, you know, it also shows you a couple of presets for these TVs or these devices. I don't own any of them, so I couldn't really test out. And, um, yeah and then finally you have the option to train other infrared remotes again this is something that i have taken i've gone through extensively in my previous video but i can just quickly explain that when you add a new bluetooth device you can uh, select from these uh, temperature sensor the contact sensor and then a different class of uh, devices so you can see that it supports quite a wide range of different devices as i said air conditioners is here and whenever you select anything, you have a couple of options. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's going to just say that, make well, this is an infrared uh, remote uh, pairing. So make sure that your device uh, is infrared based. So the next step is the pairing is that you specify the brand of the device that you have. And this is the easier infrared pairing because this app and also the product has knowledge of, you know, hundreds of different brands and their remote codes. So instead of, uh, you know, learning each of the buttons on the remote, it just says, okay, I have an LG TV or I have a Samsung TV. And then it's going to give you a couple of options like, okay, try this remote. If this works, that's your remote. If it doesn't work, let's try the next one. So we can do the same one here. So I have a very old um, remote from <laughs> from an air conditioning that I'm not even using. I don't even have the air conditioning unit anymore. I just have this remote for testing because I needed a um, one where I selected uh, the, sorry, when I was testing IR. So I don't even know which model I have, but let's say this is model one. And then you see the options here. So um, this, well, the most popular option is that that's what I said. So you have an interface here and then when you press any of the buttons, so for example, you press the on off button, then the e remote sends out the on off signal. And then if your air conditioning turns on, then you say, well, this works. If it, uh, if it doesn't turn on, then it says, no, it doesn't work. And then it's going to give you another option uh, for, you know, different uh, remote code. But let's say if I accept it, then, uh, that's it. I specify what the room the device is in, what's the name of the air conditioner, and then, and uh, you know, start using the device now. So then it would generate you a screen where it has all the uh, you know the features that come with this remote. So probably it's not this one, but anyway, it's probably the same family. So even if uh, my remote has different functions, those the ones that are here should work. And that's exactly how my TV worked as well. Sorry, I have to go back. E remote. IR hub. So in whenever I selected my, this TCR TV, it gave me this option. So and you know I just started using it, and all the buttons work. So obviously it has a uh, like a predefined uh, screen of you know the buttons, and your remote probably has more buttons, but these are just some of the buttons that. Uh, you can select but you have these options as well and then you have a lot more other buttons here so these are all the extra buttons that probably you have on your remote uh, but uh, they haven't included in this screen or at least the initial screen so for example here you can see all the different services i mean mine definitely has a netflix button and it did work uh, the youtube is only selected uh, because it's a smart TV, but that works as well. But uh, I'm not really sure how you would know all the other um, basically, you know, applications. But as I said, Netflix works and that's uh, what I have a button for on my remote. But then you get this basic layout and, you know, that's that's fine. You have the, the most the usual controls uh, through your smartphone. And for those cases where you have some extra buttons on the remote, you can learn uh, additional buttons uh, here as well. So again, that's very easy because you do start learning and then, you know, you, you I don't know, uh, for example, one of the button doesn't work. So you select one of the buttons, uh, for example, the down button. I am sure if I want to learn it and then I press 
well, this is a different remote but and the last function that you want to do is basically here on the BL remote and uh, once it loads the screen here up uh, you can bind it to a device uh, it says the device is offline but then it should disappear and then here that's where you bind the remote to one of the devices that you have configured on this main screen so here it says me that it's already a link to the TCL TV if I want to you know rebind it to something else but I just leave it with the TV and well I mean I can show you but I guess you can get the idea if I press on this one the TV turns on I can use the navigation buttons you know change channels change sorry change the volume change the channels change the volume which is you know usually what I use 95% of the time so this is a great backup remote for my main TV and then finally I also want to show you my Google Home application because uh, as you have seen on the listing it works with Alexa and Google Home so I have uh, added so well back in the day when I started testing the first uh, link and link products I linked my link and link account with my Google account so that means that every new device that I create automatically shows up in my Google Home account and that would work the same way if you have Alexa as well so if I scroll down I mean I have to, way too many stuff but let me just wait until I find it so you can see here down in the um, at the bottom of my devices it says link to you that's it says link to you because I haven't assigned it to any room here in the Google Home app but you can see the TCL TV so that's the infrared remote that I have paired with the device in the link and link app and now it appears as a device in my Google Home app as well I mean here the controls are more limited so again you can you know do on and off mute unmute and change volume that's pretty much it I mean that's what uh, Google Home offers and then if I go oops oops if I go into the settings you can see that uh, it's uh, connected through the link and link application or you know third party and actually the air conditioner that we have added that also shows up here so you can you have the on off um, you know button and then you have fan speed and that's pretty much it so you're getting less functionality here but if you only want to access these main functions and you are more comfortable either using the Google Home app or the Alex app well you definitely have these options and uh, you know once you set up the initial connection between the two apps or the two accounts then your devices will show up in the Google Home or the Alexa app automatically and this pretty much concludes all the functionality of this e remote there is one more thing which I want to show you so if I go to the um, routines and if I if I want to create a new routine what I can do is I can do you know device operation and then IR hub and here I have some options for temperature humidity motion and offline so these are the things that are connected to this device uh, via Bluetooth so those are the extra devices I mean obviously there is a Bluetooth remote but you can con uh, connect a Bluetooth motion, sorry, motion sensor uh, temperature and humidity sensor so then you could use these um, routines in order to set up automations like you know send a message turn on a light turn on a fan anything like that uh, that you usually want to configure in you know in terms of automation and of course once you created the trigger you can do the actions so in that action sorry you can you know control devices so as I said turn on lights or turn on a socket which actually connected to a fan so then you know the start uh, the fan starts running once the temperature reaches a certain uh, value and just before we go ahead with the review I want to show you the uh, the devices on the listing so so obviously you can see the e remote uh, well that's the main device that you can see here so it's 1999 so I don't think it's a you know an expensive product uh, for this functionality and of course if you have a lot of TVs and you obviously need multiple of these if you want to control them uh, you know over your phone and they also have a well they, there is one temperature and uh, and the door sensor that you can also buy so these are the products that will work with the e-remote so you can purchase from them I don't know how much this is a generic because there are a lot of different um, you know Bluetooth temperature and humidity sensors so I won't be able to tell if all of them works with the e-remote or only these ones that you can buy from here and also if you if I go into the details then yeah you can see that you can um, 
you know, the TV kit comes with a remote and then you can buy the sensor kit, which also comes with sensors and also like you can buy two pack if you want. So that is the same price as the TV kit, but doesn't have, it doesn't come with a remote. So you can make up your mind which one you want uh, and then you can purchase from here. I uh, will ask if they have some other links. So if I get some Amazon or other links, that would be in the description as well. And that's pretty much concludes my review of this e-remote IR blaster and uh, well also Bluetooth gateway and you know gateway for a Bluetooth remote. If you are interested in this product, I'm going to leave purchasing links in the video description. But I think that will be all for today. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you next video.